In this video, I'll show you how to quickly create a WordPress directory in under five minutes. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, I'll show you how you can create a members directory similar to this one here. And of course, in terms of the styling and the design, you can go ahead and customize that, right? And I'll show you how to do that throughout this video. And so for example, here we've got a member's name, we've got their plan, and we can choose whether we want to display their phone number, their email, their address, and so on, and all those additional information. So it's up to you how you want to structure this. And finally, we can have a free memberships plan for our members directory or we can have a paid memberships plan and even subscription memberships as well so if you want to create a similar setup first step is to head over to aovup.com go ahead and download the aovup memberships plugin i'll leave a link in the description below and with that being said let's head over to our dashboard okay so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and create our page where we want our membership directory to be located right so we'll just navigate over to page and then we'll just click add new and we can just name it whatever we want so we can just say members members directory okay and now we'll just go ahead and add our directory block so we'll just click add block and then we can just search for members and then we'll just click on members directory right and this is powered by the AOV up memberships plugin right so this is our basic directory layout if we focus our attention here to the sidebar we can go ahead and customize it right so maybe we want to create a directory where we're showing members from a particular plan right so maybe we want to only show our club members right or our free members whatever you want or we can just show all our members we can set the amount of members per page we can choose our column Right. We can choose to include the avatar and then we just go ahead and customize this accordingly. Right. A lot of these options are self-explanatory. Maybe we don't want to display the member's phone number or even their address. Right. Or even their email. OK, we can go ahead and further customize it. OK, so we can go ahead and customize the design of the page as well. So for this, I'm actually going to include their phone number and their address because this could be a business directory. Right. And then we'll go ahead and publish this. All right. And once you've published everything, we can go ahead and have a look at our members directory here on the front end. All right. So we can go ahead and search for a particular member. So maybe we want to search for Brian, if I can spell it. OK, and we can find him here. We can choose our member status. We can choose our plans, right? And if you want to learn more about how to create a different plan, I'll leave a link on screen to show you how you can go ahead and structure and customize your plans. So I'll give you a quick overview now. So if we head back over to our dashboard, we'll navigate over to AOV and then memberships. Then we can navigate over to membership plans, right? So here we can create our different plans. So maybe we can say, let's imagine this is a service provider directory, right? For plumbers, for example, maybe we can have one for our free members and then maybe we can have one for our um, certified members, right? Here on the profile fields, we can go ahead and add custom fields um, for our members to fill in. So maybe we want to give them the options to specify what type of service they provide. Right, it's totally up to you. So we can customize our directory to suit whatever it is we want to actually create. 